This is Tanya. Mm -hmm. I'm Chris. And we're having a party here talking yeah. <laughs> about wines and tasting them and enjoying them as you will too. Trust Vino wines, the wines that, that we love and you will be, more, be doing more than trusting. You'll be loving them too. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about Pinot Noir this time, which is a red wine. And of course, red wines have another component that it's, it's changes it completely from uh, white wines. Chardonnay has a little of this component in it that comes from the oak, whereas uh, the tannins, which is what I'm going to talk about in, in red wines, comes from the skins. And the skins have a, a property, and we, call, we also can evaluate the harvest by the amount of polyphenols, which is what's extracted from the skins. And the, the amount of phenolics in a wine will give you the amount of fruit that will come out in the or in the grape skins will come out in the wine. So we can gauge the harvest and the quality of the harvest by the, the tannins in the skin, the, the phenolics. And so the tannins, what happens when you cut an apple in half? Yeah, it's became uh, brown. It turns brown. And that process is called polyphenol oxidize. And what happens is the, poly, the phenolics are coming out of the skins, out of the seeds, coming over the uh, wounded flesh to dry it out and stop fluid loss. Mm -hmm. So tannins in a wine, which comes from the skins, and you get that on the palate, it dries it out. Mm -hmm. It does other things too. Uh, for example, <clears throat> if you have tannin and salt, there's a, a, an immediate war declared. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll cripple the wine. And so I've seen a lot of people serve a salami, for example, with, uh, with a Cabernet Sauvignon. Disaster or a blue cheese, mm -hmm. Cabernet Sauvignon, disaster. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, so the tannins do uh, do so much in a wine. On the other hand, tannin and pepper, mm. they embrace one another. They love each other. Mm -hmm. uh, tannins with grilled things, the char or the sear that comes off of grilling or braising for that matter, mm -hmm. uh, has that smoky bitterness to it and the tannins will, will pick up on that beautifully. And uh, steak pepois, I mean, there's nothing better than that mm -hmm. in a Cabernet Sauvignon. So tell me, what are some of the Russian dishes that would pair nicely with the Pinot Noir, for example, like lamb or pork or something that's not grilled? Yeah, it's very no uh, it's very good question. And it's actually, uh, I think, uh, pilmeni. We have dish pilmeni. It's uh -huh. uh, similar as ravioli, uh, oh. stuffed, you know, like stuffed uh, with um, chicken, pork, or lamb, or beef, you know, sauce? and uh, sauce, yeah, it will be sour cream, or maybe butter, something like that. Mm. Well, sour cream or butter, mm -hmm. with chicken, I would go back to Sauvignon Blanc, with beef, I would move toward the Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. or, and the lamb, Yes, definitely. Yeah, and I think we should try it, like, to understand better. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, this is the Sauvignon Blanc. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Pinot Noir is. No. Here we are. There is. Uh -huh. Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Trust Vino Pinot Noir. Vintage 2016. Nice delicacy to it. Pinot Noirs are a funny grape. It has to be grown in really very cool environment because it's a vine of uh, low vigor. So there are fewer leaves on the canopy thinner skin on the grapes, and so the vintner is always, always struggling with uh, over-ripening, with sunburning, and it mm -hmm. just leads to these bizarre flavors that you find in Pinot Noir, everything from feral, which means barnyard, mm -hmm. uh, or um, cat box, or juniper, uh, and latex paint, and mm -hmm. all these weird things. So it has to be grown. It's a temperamental variety to grow, but, it's, but more and more people are falling in love with it. Mm. I'm sure. Nice, delicate color. It's not, not, not a lot of depth to it, or, and you don't want it. You want a little, you want a little frivolity in this wine, which makes it so, so uh, flexible. It has a nice mushroom earthiness to it. Yes, a little definitely. Little strawberry to it. A little cherry it has just just enough brightness to to give it just really a lot of interest. Yeah, actually, it looks like uh, cranberry a little mm. bit. Yeah, cranberry color. You can have you can even have this with fish. Mm -hmm. you can go back to salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have it sauced right, you know, like a, like a tomato sauce or something like that on it, Pinot Noir will pick up on that nicely. One thing again, we talk about tannins. 
lower tannins in, Pinot, in a Pinot Noir, so it has less tendency to, to make a fish go metallic in flavor, whereas tannins will do that in a Cabernet, mm -hmm. for example. Yes. So you, have, so you can experiment with this and have some fun. As long as you have a little buffer, uh, like a salmon teriyaki or cedar plank salmon, or uh, some kind of a tomato sauce with the salmon, or you wouldn't serve a tomato sauce with salmon, but it's a deeper sauce, Pinot Noir will pick up on that nicely. Very so, nice. Yeah. Nostrovia. <laughs> trust vino. A wine you can trust. A wine you can buy with confidence and drink with the heart. <laughs>